Hello, I'm Michael Firth, Product Marketing Manager for the Home Audio Group at Texas Instruments. Today I'm very excited to introduce the TPA 3110D2. It's our latest analog input 15 watt Class D audio amplifier. The 3110 has excellent performance, improving in almost every performance category versus our previous analog input amplifiers, including superior THD plus noise, PSRR, and excellent click and pop performance. In addition to this excellent performance, the 3110 has two very new nice features, speaker guard and filter-free operation. Speaker guard includes DC protection circuitry and a power limiter. The DC protection circuitry shuts the amp down any time a DC signal is detected on the inputs, which is typically due to something upstream of the amp failing. The variable power limiter limits the maximum output power, protecting the speakers from damage and also allows multiple designs to share the same amplifier. For example, by using a different limiter setting, a single board design can support both a 5 watt and 15 watt LCD TV design. Probably the most exciting feature of the 3110 is its support of filter-free operation. Now, as you can see on the 3110 EVM, we have removed the costly large inductors and replaced them with small ferrite beads. A combination of proprietary gate drive algorithms along with an EMC-friendly pinout and good layout practices allow the removal of the LC inductors while still meeting the various EMC specs. This EMC plot was taken at NTS, which is a local SEC certified EMC lab. It's of the TPA 3110 EVM configured with the ferrite bead filters. It's running 15 watts off a 16 volt power supply rail, and we had one meter speaker cable on the left and right channels. And as you can see, it clearly passes the spec. Now let me turn it over to Yang Boon Quick, the application engineer for the TPA 3110. Hi. I'm about to demonstrate the power limit feature of speaker guard. I have a TPA3110 EVM set up here, driving a 1 kHz signal into 8 ohms load after the measurement low pass filter. In this oscilloscope screen, the white line is P limit, and the purple line is the audio output, which is roughly 10 watts. The P limit pin sets maximum output voltage which is roughly four times the voltage on P-limit pin. As we decrease the voltage of P-limit, we see that the maximum output voltage decreases too, and the output starts to clip. In this case, the maximum output power is limited to three watts. Thanks, Shang Boon. Now for EVMs or additional information on the 3110 or the 3111, 12, or 13, which are pin-to-pin -pin compatible family members, please see www.ti.com or send me an email at n-firth at ti.com. Thank you for your time and good luck with your design.